Right now we're about to head in and surprise a group of patients here stricken with sickle cell. Hopefully try to cheer them up a little bit. I'll give them the announcement of my donation at some point. What's up, people? I am uh, here with my uncle, Rodney, headed to the Methodist Sickle Cell Center to surprise a group of patients that I'll be donating $500,000 to the center in order to continue you know, the progress that we're making to try to make their lives somewhat easier. My uncle and my cousins have been a big inspiration for me and why I do it. It's unlike cancer, which affects all races. So you're gonna get, you know, a whole lot of money poured into that, but when it comes to sickle cell, you don't find much funding because race has a lot to do with it. I have a voice, I have opportunity and the means to actually do something about it. So that's the, that's the cool part. I love coming to the clinic because Everyone in the clinic knows us. They know that we're there. We're actually in pain. They give us wonderful treatments. The money is one thing, but I think a lot of times for me, just being in the city, being able to come to the hospital, be able to visit you know, with patients and sit down with them and talk with them is important. What if I told you that everything that you shared here today will be used to make real changes at the... You gotta be kidding me. What's up, people? Are you serious? How are we doing? It's good to see y'all again. It's good to see you. Come on now, you know it's good to see me. Come on now, how you doing? Good to see you. I'm good. Y'all look good. I remember. It's good to see you. Thank you for what you do for the clinic. Thank you for the mask. Thank you for being a personable person. I mean, you're Mr. Grizzly's man. First of all, I wanted to introduce my uncle, Rodney, here. But my son goes to the clinic here. Both of my kids have sickle cell. I know the challenges that you all go through. A lot of people don't know because when they see you, most of the time you're up and going. So they think you're healthy. They don't see you when you're down. And so it's your family and loved ones that go through all that pain to see you suffering. What Mike is trying to do is just give back to you guys. I am going to make a large donation for you guys, everybody in this room, all those who are stricken with disease, of $500,000, which is a, a start, you know, to hopefully improve, hopefully make more people aware, hopefully improve medicine. That's my gift to you today. No, you, you guys inspire me, you don't understand. Like, I'm an NBA player and, and all the things that I get to do and experience, I, I think of all you guys all the time. I think of my family, I think about the people who wish they were healthy enough to be able to do it. I don't take it for granted. That was probably two, two years ago. ago. I'm looking at the hair, so I'm thinking <laughs> like, that's two years ago. I feel like what I'm doing is just the beginning of something bigger, and hopefully we'll start to bring in more and more people to help raise more awareness. Yes, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. This is why I do what I do. It's a bigger purpose than myself.